the number one main point of the Godfather series can be found in a single word. Karma. That is what the whole story is about. It's about karma. And it's very similar to Game of Thrones because it's all about power. What makes it such a great story is that you can see how they could feel very justified in what they do. Yet, if you look at the small details, you can see that maybe it isn't just. You know, so when the original Godfather, you know, basically became a killer, you know, uh, yeah, he did it because he was being threatened with violence from a guy who is taking money from him and from a lot of people. Now, just because this other guy is doing that, does that justify Vito Corleone killing him? It's debatable, but it's not exactly, I mean, it's not even the same level of wrong, right? Taking someone's life is the greatest wrong, you know, more so than just taking people's money. Now, of course, if they refused to pay the money, then maybe they would have gotten killed or maybe just beat up. So it's, it's a complicated question. But ultimately, you know, Vito becoming, I mean, he essentially became like the local sheriff for people against the gangsters. And he got a lot of love because he tried to be very fair and he lived by certain values. And essentially he was a, you know, you know, he was, you could say he was a kind family man. He was a man, he's shown to be a man of love. At the same time, he's ready to take a life. So he's lived a life where he's had to take lives. And what happens is that, you know, he loses his son. And also, like, they try to kill him, right? I mean, the son is more in retaliation for Michael, but they try to kill Vito. Because he has karmically lived this life of taking lives... So now that's, his, that's the karma he's got to deal with. And again, this goes back to Game of Thrones and why no one can truly win the Game of Thrones. Just like in Godfather, no one can truly win as a gangster because you will always have this karma coming after you of death. So even if you win, you just have to keep killing people. You can never have peace. And peace of mind, there's nothing, there's nothing more priceless than that. So essentially, this desire for this great power, you know, doesn't bring the true happiness. Now again, you can justify what he did because he was trying to protect his family. And that was his whole morality, was that he doesn't fight in a country's war for strangers he fights hand to hand in the streets for his own family right now. But again, does that give him the right to take a life? Or just forget about the rights. I mean, just, you know, things you do are going to happen to you. That's, that's, you know, you know, you, you hurt people. It's not nothing. You know, this is kind of the easiest way to prove the existence of a higher benevolent force that could be called God, is that there is no getting away, for example, with a murder. Even if you got away with it, I think we all agree 
that there will be some repercussion at some point. Why? Because it's intrinsically morally wrong because there is a moral law of the universe based in love and harmony. And so then it's the same situation with Michael Corleone. Okay, so he kills the police captain and the other mob guy. You know, because they tried to kill his father. Even, even killing his father, does that necessarily give him the right to take a life? You know, yeah, morally, he can feel just, but it becomes a complicated question. You know, why not, instead of dealing with that, just leave? You have money, just go to... You know, perhaps they would never be safe. But again, karma. So... He kills the captain. He kills that other mob guy. Then what happens? His fiance gets blown up. And his brother gets killed. So these are not just random things that are happening. That are happening. Yes, they're because literally. Because you know they did something. So literally uh, they're in a war. These other people get angry. They do something back. But... Also, it's happening on a higher spiritual level of balance. And you can even call it scientific energy, right? For every action, there is a reaction. So even take the morality of, of it, you know? You do something, then something's going to happen. Something else is going to happen as a result of that. Whether for, you know, something want to happen or not want to happen and this is the this is Michael Corleone's major blind spot because at the end of the whole thing you see he's just sitting there thinking what is he thinking about he's thinking about where did I go wrong what did I do to deserve such a shitty life that's what he's thinking about and the answer is simple it is karma all right, because yeah, you have the strength and the intelligence to know who to take out and you're ready to take them out in order to protect your family from your mind. But at the same time, you're not realizing that you are violating the law of love. You know, even Tom Hagen was like, yo, we can just let it go. Let Hyman Roth die. He's supposed to die within months. You know, Michael's like, no, I got to take out my enemies. Even though this guy, other guy, he no, he no longer poses a threat. So it's something he could have let go. But no, he doesn't. So what happens? He kills and this cycle of killing and you being killed or someone you love being killed continues. Okay, and this is why Jon Snow is the true winner of the Game of Thrones because he gets out of this karmic game of killing, of fighting, and he gets out of this whole karmic cycle into uh, the land beyond the wall. And now he's free and has, he's around people he, he cares about. So it's, you know, yes, we root for Michael and Vito because essentially they are good people, but they just don't have this understanding. But it's hard to argue, you know, if you were in this situation, yeah, I mean, people, you don't have to do that. You know, maybe it's better to just pay the money than to have to take his life. Because, yeah, if you're in the moment and someone's attacking you, you know, and you just, there are other more complicated situations. But here, it could be, it could have been avoided. 
you know and later yeah they come attacking you but again they're attacking you as a karmic reaction the key to the godfather is this fight for power such as the symbolized by the sword of damocles right if you're in the power situation you're always going to be in danger and spiritual karma